Hello my YouTube friends, today I'm going to show you how to change a scene using a widget and stream elements. Why would you want to do that? Well, I've been doing a series of videos that show you how to create epic effects in scenes. This video is going to tie all of that together and allow your viewers to donate, super chat, or become a member of your channel, triggering these scene changing events. Thank you so much! You guys are just amazing! Wow! You guys are unbelievable! Thank you so much! It's really cool! It adds one more level of interaction to your live stream for your audience, which is awesome! So let's get to it! My analytics say that 80% of the folks watching my content are not subscribed. Am I doing something wrong? If so, definitely let me know in the comments. But if you are looking for tools, tips, and tricks that can help make you a better YouTuber or a live streamer, subscribe to the channel and click that bell so you don't miss any new content. There's a lot to get to today, but if you follow along, you're going to get it super easy. First, we want to set up our scenes for our live stream so we have the main streaming scenes and the switch to scenes that the viewer can trigger. Second, I want to show you how to set up the alert widget in stream elements. And third, we want to test our setup to be sure everything works properly. So let's get right into OBS. Here we are in OBS and just so you know, this is a bit of a process, but you'll get it if you follow along. The first thing I'm going to do is change the name of our default scene and I'm going to give this an end dash and then I'm going to call it camera and that's because the end dash is for nested scene so if you don't use a nested scene you're going to learn how to do it now I'm going to click the plus under sources and I'm going to add a camera and click OK I'm going to drop down device and select my camera I'm going to change this to custom and select my resolution and I'm going to scroll down to the bottom here and I'm going to select my audio device in this case, cam link, I'll click OK. And now we have our nested scene all set up. The next thing I'm gonna do is click the plus and I'm going to add another nested scene. This one's gonna be called N-Trigger. And this is going to be the scene that's going to be triggering our events. So right now we're not gonna do anything with that. We're just going to create it. And then I'm gonna go and create another scene. This one's called main. This will be the main scene that I talk on. I'll click OK, click the plus. We're going to go to scene and we're just going to add our camera that way. And there we go. Now we have a nested camera scene in there. Now I'm going to click the plus again and I'm going to create a tutorial scene and I'll click OK. And under sources, I'm going to click the plus. I'm going to go to scene and I'm going to add end camera again. And I'm just going to scale this down to the right here. I'm going to click the plus again and I'm going to go to window capture. And I'm going to select the window that I want to capture here. In this case, I'm going to just capture Premiere Pro and OK. I'm going to resize this. And then I'm going to move my camera up above the window capture. And we're all set. So now we have our two main scenes. Now I'm going to add that trigger into each of our main scenes. So the tutorial scene, I added it and I'm going to move it all the way to the bottom and the main scene. I'm going to go ahead and add a scene and add that trigger scene as well and move it to the bottom. So now we're all set up. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create a scene and this is just going to be a blank scene for now. And the reason I'm creating this is to show you that you can actually block certain scenes from being switchable. So these scenes would end up being used for something like an intro or a video or something like that that you're going to play that you don't want the widget to be able to switch from. And I just want to create those scenes so you can see how that works. Next, I'm going to click the plus and I'm going to create a subscribe scene. I'm going to click OK and then I'm going to go to the plus under sources. And for these, I'm just going to put a placeholder in for these scenes so we can test everything. So I'm just going to add a text here and I'm going to call it and I'm gonna put sub in here you can select the font and do all that stuff it's really not necessary at all and I'm just gonna make it big and move it to the center and there we go now I'm gonna create another scene and we're gonna call this super less than 10 and we're gonna click OK and I'm just gonna create another text event here and this is like I said just a placeholder so I'm gonna call this super less than 10 actually I have to call this sup less than 10 because if I don't, it will say there's a duplicate out there. And I'm just going to type in the less than 10. And there we go. Make it bigger. Move it in the middle. And we're going to go ahead and create another scene. And this one's going to be called SUP 11 to 50. 
And this can be a little tedious, but we're just creating these scenes as a placeholder. You're going to create some epic scenes here. And at the end of the video, I am going to show you some of the absolutely epic scenes that you can create to do such ridiculously amazing things with this. I'm just gonna create our text event again, put in SUP 11250, move it into the center. And one more scene we need to create is the SUP over 50. And of course our scenes are named super and our text is named sup and that's just because you can't call two things the exact same name and we'll just create our text event and click ok we'll move this to the center and now we're just going to switch and make sure they do what they're supposed to do and everything looks like it's all set up and ready to go our main and our tutorial scenes are working fine as well i do need to take a second to say thank you to the amazing coder who wrote this free widget and stream elements for us his name is mr boost and you can find him on twitch there is a link in the description and if you love this widget please stop by his stream and say thank you because he's absolutely amazing there is also a link in the description to this custom widget that you need to actually do this so check it out now it's on to stream elements the first thing you're going to want to do is make sure that you are logged into your stream elements under the account that you want this widget to go to so in this case it would probably be your youtube account next you're just going to click on that link and it will add the widget in in my case i'm just going to paste the link into the browser here and it will automatically take me into stream elements and add the widget the scene switcher for youtube the first thing i'm going to do is duplicate this so that i can edit it and i'm not going to mess up the original so i'm going to just duplicate it and i'm going to select which account which is my youtube account and then click submit and it duplicates it for me when i click ok there we go we've got the copy of the scene switcher now i can go into edit once we are here in edit i'm going to go ahead and select our text up here in the top left and i'm just going to name this whatever i want the name to be so i can remember it in the future and then i'm going to click save all the way here on the right then i'm going to go to copy overlay url click this link it copies copies it to our clipboard. I'm gonna go over into OBS and I'm gonna go to that end trigger and I'm gonna click plus and browser and I'm gonna call this browser source trigger and click OK. Then I'm gonna copy that link right in here and I'm gonna make it the same size as my canvas which is 1920 by 1080. Then I wanna scroll down here and I wanna click shut down source when not available and then I'll click OK, we're all set up. So now the widget is ready to switch our scenes. So let's go back over into stream elements and finish setting this up. What we wanna do is we wanna go over here to the left click on scene switcher and then click on settings and let's first start out with our kill scenes so these are the scenes that you do not want automatic switching to happen so I did create two of those scenes here scene two and scene three and all I need to do is add those to our kill scenes and it will not switch from those so this would be something you would want to do for your intro or any kind of cut scenes that you use in your live stream you want to put this kill scene information in there for the name of the scene so that it doesn't switch from those scenes and you don't have to worry about it so we've got that set up and I'm gonna go right here to my sub alert and we need to switch to the scene we have to change this up to be the name of the actual scene that we want to switch to so I'm just going to go in and verify that I have the right name and the scene we're switching to is subscriber, not subscribe. So I'll add that R and there we go. Now we have our sub alert set up. There is a thing at the top where you can turn these on or off so you can enable or disable them. And we're going to go down and we're going to edit our super chat one and you can see that it has the switch to scenes under ten dollars switch to scenes between 11 and 50 dollars switch to scenes over 50 dollars and all we have to do is put in our scene name that we want to switch to here and these are obviously the scenes we created in obs so super less than 10. I'm just gonna go over and make sure. Of course, I named it that, so I've gotta go back over into Stream Elements and fix it. And then we just have to create all three of these. Super 11 to 50. And then this one would be super over 50. Now you can change the time that you want these scenes to be on or active before they switch back. But essentially, that is how you set this up. And I think I might have my kill scenes improperly named. So let's split the screen here and check this out. And I do. So I'm just going to fix this up really quick. It's scene two and scene three. And there we go. So now I have my two kill scenes done and I can click save and we're ready to test. 
I think we're all set up. So how do we test this thing? Well, I'm gonna show you. So in order to test this in stream elements, we're gonna click this emulate. We're gonna go to our super chat event and we're going to click 10. And there we go. We can see over on the left in OBS, it switches to the less than 10. And there we go. So now we're all set. It's actually switching properly. Now when I say less than 10, it's 10 or less really. But now we're gonna try the 50 and it really does help if I select the super chat event instead of the tip event because super chat event is what we set up. But as you noticed, you can set up all of the tip events as well. So let's go to the super chat and there we go. 11 to 50, boom, switches the scene. It waits about 10 seconds or so and switches it back. It's probably closer to 30 seconds, but you do have the ability to mess around with this. So now I'm gonna select one of our kill scenes and I'm gonna do it. And you can see it does not switch off of this scene. No matter which one of the super chats I select, it doesn't switch off the scene. So now let's try it from tutorial because I want you to see that it is going to switch back to the same scene that we were on, which is really nice. So no matter what scene you're actually in, as long as it's not in the kill list, it will switch to the scene, in this case, Super Chat 50, and then what it'll do is it'll switch back to the scene that you left. So it should switch us back to the tutorial scene, and there we go, it absolutely did. Once this entire process is completed, you can do some really cool things. So let me trigger some stuff I already have set up. Wow, see? Now you can just change scenes. It shows our tip alert up top if we put that in there. And I even got some glasses. Very, very cool. But let's try some more advanced type scenes because these are really epic. So let's go to a higher tip amount. Let's try 50. Yes, this is awesome. Woo! I absolutely love it. Fantastic. Let's go one higher though. We'll go up here, we'll put in a custom tip. We'll go with 60 bucks. Are you ready? I'm ready. Yes, that is fantastic. You can add music and sound effects and all kinds of stuff, voice changers. It's friggin' epic. And you can do a whole lot more with this as well. So definitely play around with it. This widget is just epic. There's so much you can do with it. If you want to see how some of these scenes were created, you should definitely check this video out. And if you're always looking for tools, tips, and tricks that can help make you a better YouTuber or live streamer, subscribe to the channel. It's totally free. My name is Michael Fire Jr. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.